Now we're going to restring a bass guitar. If you've never done this before, um, it's just a standard gauge set like what would have come on this instrument. Uh, uh, every now and then you see something that says long scale. This is a 34 inch long scale bass. Uh, if your bass is something different, you can measure from the distance from the 12th fret to the nut and take that times two and that's the scale length. So this should be uh, uh, 17 inches from here to here and then double that's 34. If it's longer, you need to make sure you buy an extra long scale set of strings, but this is the most common uh, length for a bass guitar that you'll find. Uh, string winder, good way to start. Unwind these strings. This is a sort of a must have accessory if you do this often enough. Now, depending on the type of bridge you've got, these are. This particular bridge is easy because it comes out from the top uh, either way. Uh, if it has to go through a little hole and pull it out, just when you get down to this end, make sure these little things don't scratch up the front of your base. Uh, you're trying to keep it looking nice. When you get your strings out, um, depending on how they package them, this company does their strings with a kind of a neat little setup here. You've got a color-coded uh, ball end on this thing where it's going to tell you that the uh, for a four string bass the low one's brass, the next one's red, the next one's black, the next one's green. Couldn't be simpler. So we'll start with the brass one at one end. Come down here, put it in there. We want to get about three or four turns of string around this post which about that long, about five inches or so. Snip the string these kind of tuning keys have a, a little hole for the string to go in, which makes it pretty easy. Uh, you just put the string in there and start winding. If it doesn't have that, if it has a conventional kind of hole where you just go through the center like that, you just put it through there and end up with about this much string, kind of like I've made the letter S, and that's going to give you about three to four turns of string around that post. There's a lot of different thoughts about how many turns of string to have around a tuning key. Uh, depending on the design of your instrument and, and how far this piece bends back, you know, some fender bases it comes kind of straight. This one angles more. Having an angle and having downward pressure on the string in that nut slot um, arguably seems to give you a little better tone, having a little more pressure on that uh, string in that slot. And, and the other problem is if you don't, especially on a fender style bass, if you don't have a lot of downward uh, direction here, it may rattle. And if you just get two turns of string around that post, I've seen a lot of problems where, uh, the, you know, string rattling problems because there's not enough downward angle there at the, from the nut to the tuning post. Now, seem to have gotten about four turns. And it's not quite all together there. There we get it's tightening up. Okay. The next color is red. Of course, you can also look at the strings and see what, visually, you can see the difference in the diameters, and that would tell you, too, which one is which. If you keep a little tension on this string, the way I'm holding it, keeps the wraps tighter. It's just going to keep it from slipping and causing a little issue when you first start to tune the thing up. But uh, if you're an aggressive player, at some point you start bending the strings and doing vibratos and stuff. You know, you don't want that string slipping around on that tuning post, or it's going to go out of tune quicker. Now, when I get to the other side, I'm going to start with this string first, which will be the smallest string, which according to the color chart here is going to be the green one. Okay, now they're all on. Get your tuner out. 
our string is G. Next one's D. Got lucky on that one. And it's, these tuners, a lot of them have a built-in microphone. It's probably going to be better if you actually plug the bass in, but it's quiet in here right now. There we go. Should be good. <laughs> 